Hello everyone. Today we are going to find the surface area of a cylinder. As we have discussed in our previous lecture, the difference between the area and surface area. And here we are going to find the surface area of the cylinder rather than the area of the cylinder. Why? Because cylinder is a three-dimensional object, and uh, for finding the area of the three-dimensional object, we consider the surface area of that object. So here, uh, here we have a cylinder. This is the top. and this is the bottom of the cylinder we can also consider this pic picture uh, in a way as like this i have divided this picture into three parts one part is top the other is bottom and a rectangle now you don't get confused about it that from where this rectangle comes so if we open this cylinder we will get a rectangle it's obvious that when we roll this rectangle we will get a cylinder so in order to find the surface area we are making the shape easier for you to find the area uh, to find the surface area of the given object so we will find the areas of these two dimensional objects and then we add them together to find the surface area of the cylinder now keep this in mind that this is a 3d object and we have converted into 2d objects or you can say 2d shapes This is a 3D shape, and we have converted into 2D shape so that you can find the area easily. And then, when you add the areas of all these 2D shapes, you will get the surface area of the given 3D object. So, let's start with the area of the of these two circles, and then the area of the rectangle. So, you can say that the surface area of the cylinder is equals to is equals to the sum of the areas of these all the these three 2D objects. that is if i label them as this is circle number 1 this is circle number 2 and this is the third object that is rectangle so area of circle 1 plus area of circle 2 as i have labeled plus area of rectangle so as we know that area of circle is equals to pi r square then area of another circle is also equals to pi r square plus the area now Uh, important thing here to find is the area of the rectangle now area of rectangle is basically the length into breadth now what is the length in this case let's find it out if i write here length into breadth now it is clear here that we have opened a cylinder so that we can get a rectangle so when we roll the rectangle back we will get the cylinder again it means the length of this cylinder is actually the circumference of the circle so you can say that this length is basically the circumference of the circle and the circumference of the circle is equals to 2 pi r c is equals to 2 pi r and its height is h if i label here as well that this is the height h and this is the radius so the length of the rectangle will be the circumference of the circle that is 2 pi r and the height is h so we can replace these the uh, the um, length by the circumference and the breadth by the height so what we will get is equals to 2 pi r square as we have added pi r square plus pi r square plus l is 2 pi r and breadth is h so it will be 2 pi r h so in more simpler form you can also write it as 2 pi r take it as common then r plus h so this is basically the surface area of the given cylinder so this is the basic formula that you have to use whenever you are going to find the surface area of the cylinder and what you need is just the radius and height of the cylinder so that you can easily find what is the surface area of any given cylinder so that's all from today's lecture stay tuned for the next thank you